Hey guys, it's Ransom here from RacketNut.com. Today I want to show you the importance of racket acceleration. Now this goes for kind of about any shot. You have to accelerate. I don't know, for those golfers out there who putt, you can't tap. Uh, basketball players, you can't hear. You have to follow through. Um, and that's all you're accelerating through the ball. So in tennis, it's going to look something like this. Increased speed. So a lot of players actually try to get more control by slowing their swing down, which will actually result in less control and less power. So let me show you real quick kind of three different balls that I'm going to hit. One with acceleration hitting slow, one with acceleration hitting fast, and one with deceleration. Okay, so here's my acceleration fast at a decent speed, acceleration now, um, a slow kind of warm-up ball. Okay, my racket's always increasing speed through the ball. And then here's my deceleration. And it doesn't really go anywhere. I didn't have any control of it. Um, so when you're out there, think about kind of the, um, whether you're accelerating through the ball, decelerating. Um, as I said, you'll find more control actually, more controlled power from accelerating through the ball, finishing the shot. Your job as a tennis player is to give the ball, the tennis ball, instructions on what to do. Um, so when you're out there, you know, actually swinging and hitting, you need to give instructions to the ball. And that is, I want the ball to speed up, counter pace coming to me. I redirect it to them. In order to do that again, you can't just tap it. The ball will shoot off and kind of go wherever, not where you're aiming. So again, ball's coming, redirect, and you have to push through and redirect, give it instructions on where to go on your opponent's side of the court. If this helped you, hit subscribe and like, and um, follow my channel for more videos kind of like this to help your tennis game improve.